tied to your predecessor, who is about to launch another campaign. So how do you reassure them if that is the reason for their questioning, that the former president will not return, that his political movement, which is still very strong, uh, will not oh, yeah? once again take power in the United <laughs> States? Well, um, we just have to demonstrate that he will not take power um, by, uh, if, we, uh, if he does run, uh, making sure he, uh, under the legitimate efforts of uh, our Constitution, does not become the next president again. Does not become the next president again. A few moments later. And I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. More moments later. Gentlemen, we have some breaking news. Former President Donald Trump says his home at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida is, as he describes it, currently under siege, raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents. He news on former President Trump. He's been indicted for the fourth time in five months. Let's go to Rhonda Colvin. Rhonda, the breaking news that Donald Trump has been found guilty on all 34 counts. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. You have a Soros-backed DA, and the whole thing, we didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man, and it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. And I think it's a, just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting, we'll fight till the end and we'll win because our country's gone to hell. We don't have the same country anymore. We have a divided mess. We're a nation in decline, serious decline. Millions and millions of people pouring into our country right now from prisons and from mental institutions, terrorists, and they're taking over our country. We have a country that's in big trouble, but this was a rigged decision right from day one with a conflicted judge who should have never been allowed to try this case, never. And we will fight for our Constitution. This is long from our Thank you very much.